Hello and welcome! I'm DDF Racer, and today I'm going to be getting hands on. I'm sorry, it's a glove review video. What else did you expect me to say? With these, a pair of Sud Speed's Edition 1 sim racing gloves. If you sat there wondering who Sudspeed are, then to be honest, I can't blame you. They're a brand new Australian based sim racing accessories company that only popped into existence a few months ago, founded by Richard Mayer and Chris Ruddle. They also hosted an iRacing LMP3 league recently, which was incredibly competitive but great fun to take part in. No doubt they'll be hosting plenty more like that in the future, so can't wait for that. Generally speaking, if you're based in Australia or New Zealand and you want to get hold of some sim racing accessories, then your options are rather limited and there's also usually a hefty shipping price involved as well, so I really respect what Sudspeed are doing by setting up shop here. At the moment, they're only offering these gloves and this t-shirt, but they do have other products under development and I'm sure as they grow as a company, there will be more available on their store. Now, I've been sim racing for probably the best part of 15 years since the original r the one days when people just used to refer to it as R Factor. And gloves have been one of those things that I've never really gotten to grips with. Grips? Get it? Some people swear by them, and to be fair, I've tried a few pairs over the years, but just never felt comfortable, like I was disconnected from the driving and the force feedback somehow. So, when Sudspeed offered me a pair of these Edition 1 gloves, I knew it was going to take some convincing, but somehow, yeah, they did it. As per the specifications on their website, these gloves have breathable mesh finger panels, pre-curved fingers for an excellent fit from day one, external stitching, tactile palms with silicone print, touchscreen compatible thumb and index fingers, and are made from 100% polyester with a synthetic microfiber palm. Now while that all sounds incredibly impressive, the first thing you notice when you slip them on is that they do fit incredibly well. Like, there's no excess fabric anywhere, and they're really light and thin, but not in a cheapo kind of way. They fit tight, but not too tight to restrict any kind of movement, and yeah, you hardly notice them at all. Overall, the material quality is great, with no strands or fibers hanging off anywhere. It's a really neat job they've done with these, and they definitely feel like a proper quality product. And they don't look bad at all either. I mean, to be honest, I love the camo pattern that they've got on the back. Although, if I had to criticize them for one thing, it's that they only come in in red, although I hear that they are working on that for the Edition 2 version of the gloves, so DDF Racer Orange Gloves confirmed at some point. The back is light and breathable, just like the specifications say, but the palms are definitely a bit thicker and rougher. They feel very sturdy though, like they'd be quite durable. Although I guess that's something that you guys are going to have to ask me in the comments in about a year's time, once I've actually been using them for a bit. The silicon bits on the palm are actually really grippy, even on fabric, and it gives me that confidence that the wheel is never going to be slipping out of my hands again. Also, if you look really closely at the palms, it, it's actually the Sudspeed logo, which I think is a really nice touch. That's said, even though the material on the palm of the glove is thicker than the material on the back, I can still feel a lot of detail in my fingers. Now of course it's not the same as not wearing gloves, but I've got absolutely no issue still comfortably using a keyboard, or distinguishing between individual buttons and having the dexterity to rotate the hat switch on this Fanatec wheel. Now this ability is a massive plus for me personally because I do like 99% of my driving in VR, so I can't actually see the wheel, I can't rely on just looking down and glancing where the buttons are. I need to be able to rely on feel and be able to feel my way around the wheel because like I said I'm, I'm doing all of my driving blind. Other gloves that I've used previously just didn't let me do that. I just didn't have the feeling in my fingers to be able to use the wheel in VR so it was a bit of a deal breaker. How have Sudspeed managed this? It might be a little bit tricky to show on the camera but there's a top and a bottom handprint so to speak with the insides of the fingers filled in here like this. With the stitching also being on the outside of the gloves and around the edges as well, it means that you don't feel any of the seams or have anything in between your fingers and the wheel apart from just one layer of fabric. It really is quite clever compared to other designs that I've seen that would just be the top and the bottom stitched together and you'd have all of the seams and all the excess fabric floating around your fingers. This this bit on the inside here really makes all the difference with these suit speed gloves. The touchscreen fingertip and thumbs are also a really nice touch as well. When streaming, I use my phone as a remote control to switch between scenes and trigger graphics and these gloves let me do that. It could also be a really useful feature for anyone who runs a touch device for a dashboard, for example through SimHub or Second Monitor. Otherwise, it'd be a case of taking the gloves off and putting them back on again and taking them off and 
yeah, nah. <laughs> Why wear gloves for sim racing anyway, though? I mean, isn't it a little bit over the top? It's, it's not like our rigs are going to catch fire or anything, right? Well, most of the time. Hey, Rangy. Maybe for most people, you know, the average sim racer, gloves probably would be a little bit of overkill, to be honest. But if you're running a high-end device, like a, a direct drive wheel that's got a lot of force and you need to really hold onto the wheel, or if you're running a steering wheel that's got like a fabric or a suede or an Alcantara kind of material that's easily damaged over time, then gloves are kind of essential. There's no avoiding it, let's be honest people sweat and over time that is going to build up and that's going to be not only unhygienic but also damaging to this kind of material. I've had my Formula One style steering wheel for a few years now and it is starting to look a little bit ratty without me using gloves. Even my round BMW wheel is getting those unmistakable sweat marks and that's not even a year old. If you wear a ring or if you're running any kind of high force direct drive wheelbase then simply holding the wheel tight is probably damaging the material on it even if you're not a sweat kind of person. I know people who tape up the grips once the fabric starts to go, but to be honest, you probably paid a decent chunk of money for your wheel, right? So it kind of makes sense that you want to look after it instead of just patching it up with grip tape. What's inside the glove matters as well, to be honest. I mean, it's quite easy to get calluses on the insides of your palms, especially when you run longer sessions, or suffer from cramp as you grip the wheel tight going through the high speed corners. Personally, on a CSL DD, it's not too much of an issue, and I'd imagine that people running lower strength wheels, it wouldn't really be a factor, but for those high Newton meter forces, DD1s and top end Simicube wheelbases, for example, your hands will start to feel the burn after holding on tight for a few hours. Besides, there's always the cool factor. I mean, I don't know, there's, there's just something about putting these gloves on and thinking, right, it's race time. It sounds silly, I, I know, but honestly, it's just another little layer of immersion that just adds to the whole sim racing experience. I mean, we're all sat here in front of our computers driving virtual cars at laser scanned racetracks against other people with their own wheelbases and pedals too. It's not really a hobby you can just jump into casually, but when the sim racing bug gets you, then it's there to stay. It's a serious addiction. I'm not really sure where I was going with that point now actually. Anyway, gloves are a bit of a luxury purchase, I'm not gonna lie. They're something that would definitely fall into the nice to have category as opposed to the absolutely essential category. But if you take your sim racing seriously and you're wanting to look after your wheel and your hands, then honestly, you can't go wrong with these suit speeds. The material quality is great, the fit is great, the feeling through the fingers is great, and yeah, they're just an all-round really nice pair of gloves, which isn't something I was expecting to be saying, considering I'm not a gloves kind of sim racer. The biggest problem I've got now is just getting into the habit of <laughs> remembering to put them on. I hope you found this review useful, and it gives you an idea of what to expect from these Sudspeed Edition 1 gloves. If so, don't forget to leave the video a like, and any thoughts or questions, let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you're thinking about getting a pair of these, then head on over to sudspeed.com, and don't forget to use the code DDFRACER at checkout for 10% off your order. I'll put a link down in the video description to the store, the discount code, and also the Discord page if you want to join in with any of their races that they'll host in the future. Easy! Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you out there on track.